What's going on you guys? Josh here, also known as Harry Tornado. Today is day 22 of the daily vlog for the month of April, and I just have a ton of stuff I want to talk about today, so let's go ahead and jump into it. So I got an email yesterday from a viewer named Dale in Midland, Texas, and it was just a really good question. I don't want to read the whole email, but basically they were asking for simple shipping help. They're saying that currently whenever they sell something on eBay, they just handwrite the address from the buyer on, on whatever the package is, and then they take the package to the post office to buy postage directly there. And they're experiencing some concerns right now with going out to the post office all the time because of COVID-19 and stuff. Um, and they're asking about how to ship things directly on eBay. They're saying whenever they do a YouTube search, there's lots of tips about like shipping weird things or shipping, you know, like Guitar Hero controllers or how to ship shoes, or whatever. But there's not a basic, how do I ship an item on eBay just through the eBay platform? So instead of responding to that email in like huge detail, I was like, you know what? I'll just answer your question in today's video. So I want to talk about a few different issues with this. Mainly, I want to discuss why you should never ever buy postage or anything at the post office because their prices are jacked up on shipping costs as well as like scales and tape and packing materials that they have in the actual post office. Hopefully this helps you guys. I'm sure if you're a seasoned reseller, you probably already know all this, but a lot of you guys that watch my channel are not seasoned resellers. You're brand new at this. So hopefully it will help somebody. Um, and it's not gonna be the only thing we talk about in today's video. I'll get to more fun stuff later, but check it out. In the past, when I've done my giveaways on my YouTube channel, I've given away a couple of label printers. I gave away a Rolo recently. I gave away a Dymo 4XL. I have another Dymo 4XL to give away once I hit 30,000 subscribers. So go ahead, smash that like button, smash that subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. But every time I wanna give one of these printers away, people always comment on the video saying, oh, this printer would help me so much. Right now I'm just handwriting all of my labels on the package. And guys, that's such a waste of time. The first problem with writing your own address on the packages is that it leaves room for human error. Anytime you're transposing something that's typed on a screen to writing on paper, there's a chance that you could get something wrong. And that would just mean the package gets lost or sent to the wrong place. And that just wouldn't be good for you or the buyer. Second, having to drive to the post office and wait in line every time you sell something on eBay is not something that's scalable. If you want to build your business into when you're you know, selling four or five, ten things a day, you do not want to be going to the post office every day and waiting in line to buy postage. It's going to be annoying for everybody behind you in line having to wait on that, and it's going to be annoying for you as well. So you just got to get used to buying your postage directly through eBay. I also want to mention that you do not need a fancy printer to print shipping labels online. You can just use a regular inkjet printer. You don't need a Rolo. You don't need a Dymo. These are just luxuries and they're a little bit faster and they don't use ink but you don't need these you can just use a regular inkjet or laser jet printer i got a regular hp inkjet printer at goodwill for like 692 or something and it had ink with it so stop wasting your time writing labels by hand you're spending too much money and you're wasting time just get a printer and with this next point, I want to reiterate that I'm not bad mouthing the USPS. I, I appreciate the work they do. But when you go buy postage directly at the post office, they don't really care about making sure you get the very cheapest rate. Like I see people all the time in there with like a t-shirt that could probably ship first class in an envelope, but they're like, hey, what's the cheapest rate I can ship this? And usually they give them a padded flat rate envelope because it's right there on the wall and they end up paying like $8.50 or whatever it is to ship a, a, a full price padded flat rate envelope when that shirt could probably ship for four or five dollars. Again, it's not saying that they're bad at their job. It's just, you know, they're not going to go out of their way to make sure you're saving every possible penny like you would do if you were buying your own postage at home with a printer. So when you buy your postage at the post office, not only are you paying full retail price, but also if you don't know what you're doing, if you're a new seller and you haven't figured out shipping yet, the post office worker behind the counter is probably not going to go all out trying to find you the best rate. They might, but I doubt it. This is especially true when it comes to small, heavy packages. I saw this guy online one time, and I think his package was like 14 or 15 pounds, but the box was only, you know, yay big. And the lady behind the counter was like, would you like to send this priority overnight, whatever? He's like, oh, I don't know, what's priority? And she's like, okay, priority rate would be like $40 or whatever it was. And he was like, okay, that's fine. And in my head, I was like, dude, you could ship that package with pirate ship for probably you know, nine, ten dollars, but he has no idea what pirate ship is. I think learning the ins and outs of shipping when you first start out is probably the hardest part of becoming a reseller, but it's definitely something you need to focus on because I see so many new resellers just 
straight losing their butt on shipping costs because they don't know what they're doing. And I said earlier that you should never buy things in the actual post office, like shipping supplies or packing materials, because that stuff is super jacked up in price. This is the shipping scale I have. This is the Accutech Ship Pro. This is the one I have here. You see it's $25.93 on Amazon with uh, Prime Delivery. I've had this one. This, this is the one I started out with, this Accutech All-in-One series. That's 20 bucks. If you go to a post office and look at shipping scales, they are at least $50 and they only go up to like 10 pounds. Like they're the worst shipping scales in the history of the world. And they are probably one of the more expensive ones as well. So do not buy anything at the post office. You can get it cheaper online. The same goes for those brown envelopes as well they have at the post office. Like you can buy those for like $2 to ship your shirt first class. But by the time you pay first class shipping plus two dollars $2 and some change for that envelope, you may as well just put it in a padded flat rate envelope for eight dollars, you know. So they have the supplies available for you to ship other than priority. But by the time you pay for the supplies, you might as well just ship priority. So again, stop writing your addresses by hand. It's just a waste of time for you. It's increasing your chances that you're going to mess something up. You're paying full price retail for postage. Just buy your shipping through eBay, print it at home. Even if you have to buy a full price printer for like 80 or 100 bucks, you're still gonna end up saving money in like probably 30 to 45 days just on the savings you're gonna have from buying that postage on the commercial rate from eBay versus paying full retail at a post office. So I have one item right now that's ready to be shipped out. So I'll go ahead and do this on eBay so you guys can see how easy it is. So you're on the eBay homepage. I just hover over my eBay and go down to selling. And this will bring you to the seller hub. And if you go down to task, you'll see print labels and ship. I have some overdue because of those t-shirts that I sold, but I have one package right now that's ready to be shipped out. It's these Tom's shoes, like this little link right here, print shipping label, just click that. Then it'll bring you to this screen where you put in the package details and off to the side over here, you can't see it, but it has you know your return address and the, the buyer's address. You don't have to do anything with that because that's exactly what the buyer put in. And you know, as long as you leave that alone and don't touch it, eBay, eBay will cover you. So uh, over here, you just have to put in you know, what type of package that it's gonna be. So it's a, a pair of shoes and a t-shirt that are bundled together. So I'd put them both in a padded flat rate envelope. And so then you go to, for padded, anything flat rate, you go to um, carrier packages, it'll bring up all flat rate packaging, and then you can pick um, you know, USPS padded envelope. That's what, that's what you wanna pick for a padded flat rate envelope. Now, if I took these shoes and this shirt to the post office and I just went, got a padded flat rate envelope off the shelf, put it in there like this and took it up to the counter to buy shipping, it would not be $7.52. I think the full retail price on this is like $8.40 or something like that. So by staying at home and printing my own label, not only am I saving the trip to the post office, but I'm also saving like 90 cents in postage on one package. And if you want to be a, a full-time reseller where you're shipping out, you know, five, six, 10, 15 things a day, that savings can really add up over time. So back to this screen, once you have everything selected, you just click purchase and print label. And this uses your card that you have on file. I use my PayPal debit card on file uh, and it automatically charges your account and generates the label. I don't wanna show you the address, but it'll come up, you just click print and then it prints on whatever printer you have hooked up. Um, there's tons of videos to show you how to hook up printers, but uh, this one is good to go. And finally, my favorite thing about buying your shipping directly through eBay or, or Pirate Ship, because Pirate Ship does this as well, is that the tracking information is automatically attached to the order. So if you take your package to the post office and you buy the, the postage there, you have to take that tracking number back to eBay and input the tracking number back into your order so eBay knows that you ship the item. Whereas if you buy it directly through eBay or Pirate Ship, it automatically uploads. So if there's any issues with, with shipment, if the shipment says it was delivered, but the buyer claims they don't have it, eBay will back you up 100%. They'll either refund the buyer themselves or they will, I guess, tell the buyer to open up a case with USPS. So definitely, there's just so much benefit to buying your own shipping through eBay or Pirate Ship. Stop going to the post office. So I was fairly productive this morning before I started this video. I did clean up my office a little bit, even though it doesn't really look like it. I tried to organize this little shelf over here, but I'm not very good at organization. Also, shout out my brother-in-law, Kyle, for giving me this shirt for Christmas. Krusty Krab, SpongeBob. And if you're curious about what the number to the Krusty Krab is, it's 1-800-555-CRAB. 
K-R-A-B. Speaker. Ah, oh, dang it. I was really hoping I was gonna be the Krusty Krab. So one of my recent Walmart retail arbitrage pickups, I bought four of these perfect multi-gems. Uh, they did not have the iron gems in stock, but they had four of these, so I bought all of them. They were 24, like 24.97 each, and I listed them for 79.99 free shipping. And I thought these things were going to fly out the door, but I've actually, I've sold two, but one guy never paid. So I've only sold one that's actually been paid. He did pay full price at $79.99 free shipping. It only cost, I think that one was like $13 to ship out. So it was pretty good profit margins on it. Um, but these have not sold yet. And because a lot of states are coming out of quarantine or slightly opening up, I don't think these are going to sell uh, not nearly as well as I thought they were in the beginning. So I'm going to save one of them and keep that one listed. I did promote that listing to kind of boost it up in search results a little bit. But these other two, I'm going to take back to Walmart today to um, either get my money back or store credit or something. I just don't think they're going to sell anytime soon. And that's one of the huge benefits of doing retail arbitrage. You can kind of take risks on items. And as long as you save your receipts and you don't open the package, if they don't sell within you know, 14 days or 30 days, whatever the store return policy is, you can always just take it back and get your money back. Zero risk for a chance at making a little bit of money. So I went to Walmart to take back those two pull-up bars. They gave me my cash back, no questions asked. I did not get anything else to flip. I just don't want to invest in more puzzles right now. I'm not sure how the puzzle market is going to be over the next couple weeks, and I didn't find anything else I could flip. So on my way back home, or when I got back home, my mail lady came and took my packages, and she dropped this one off. And this is that Xbox One Connect sensor that I traded that girl for on Instagram. Kara, I think was her name. Um, she gave me the Xbox One sensor, and I gave her the Captain America t-shirt and the tarot cards. So I opened this, and <laughs> there was some more stuff in here I want to show you guys. So first, there's this card. It says, Josh, thank you so much for doing this trade with me. I've included a plush for Moe's as well. Tell him not to rip it up right away. <laughs> Good luck with that. Love to you, Haley and Moe's, Kara. Kara, thank you so much. And you, she drew a little dog in the corner. That's so, that's so fun. Kara, thank you. Uh, so let's see here. Oh, look at this. Look at this little blue little bear. Moe's is gonna love this. Moe's! Look! What's that? What's that? Okay, have fun. Get it. Okay. Sometimes he treats his plushes the same. Oh no. Okay. He's definitely gonna, he's definitely gonna rip it up immediately. Obviously he loves it. Kara, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. Now let's take a look here. Yeah, this is the Xbox One sensor. Perfect. And this one's in even better condition than the one I sold. So I'll plug it in, make sure everything works okay. And then just probably go into my sold listings and find where I sold my last connect and just click sell similar. Probably keep the pictures, honestly, because it's the same exact unit. There's nothing different about this one than the one I already sold, so I don't have to take pictures again. I'll just sell similar, keep the pictures, keep everything the same probably, and just list it. And hopefully it would sell, I don't know, hopefully pretty soon, 24, 48 hours. Update. I listed that Connect and it sold in about 30 minutes for $54.99 free shipping. Are you still playing with it? Give me this. Oh, wow. Come away. So I think I'm going to call it quits for today. I'm going to list a few more items. I think I've listed like four or five already, which is pretty good for me, considering I haven't listed hardly anything in the last two weeks. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, do a couple more chores around the house before Haley gets home. And we're going to fast forward now to some trick shot footage day two, although this was filmed last night after my premiere last night, I started doing uh, <laughs> recording the day two of the trick shot for the toilet paper roll trick shot challenge. Hope you guys enjoy. One to 15. 120, 130, 141, 173 176 Yes! Woo! 170
36 tries. That's what I'm talking about. Look at this. Look at that. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. You're the best. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.